This, this whale comes up alongside in blue. Well, in blue, all this spray comes down on me. It was a, it was a condensation, that's what the hell it is. Well, Christ, I got a load of that. Boy, I'm telling you, that thing had halitosis, and it took me, it took me about 45 minutes to get all the damn oil off my camera. That's the closest I came to a whale. And then we were down the Antarctic, and I went out with a guy named Lawson, I think I'd show you that picture of him. And uh, we hit this, uh, I think it was a fin whale, and hell, he must have been about 82, 85 feet long. And he put a, uh, this uh, uh, harpoon got in his back, so it didn't interfere with him swimming. But boy, he took off, and boy, he towed us through the ice fields, and all I did is hang on to a stanchion along with everybody else. With the engines were going full instead of stern, and this damn whale was towing us through the field, and we must have been making at least five knots or so. You're kidding. And I'm With not kidding. Oh, that reverse? killer boat was just going like this, back and forth, from uh, hitting the lights flows and that stuff. And uh, finally this damn whale got out in the open, and this guy lost and got a killer eye and killed him. But that damn thing lasted, uh, I would say it took him an hour to kill that damn whale. And we didn't really start to have the differences until we got down on the whaling grounds and the gunners wanted 30-foot whales and we said, no, you only get 35. There's where the, the first conflagration started. They weren't thinking about the whales. They'd have killed every damn whale they could have got a hold of. But the only thing that stopped them is they couldn't get a return on their money. There was the thing. I was told by O'Neill when I left that they wanted a detailed report on every aspect of pelagic whaling. So it was O'Neill who just sent you that and task? This, is, of, this yeah. is the guy that I wrote the report for. They wanted a detailed report on every aspect of pelagic whaling because the Coast Guard was ordered to enforce the whaling laws of the United States, but they knew nothing about it. Right. And all coast. Uh, headquarters sent an old coast when I was on the Yamacraw asking if any officers wanted to go out on a whaling cruise. Well, why, why did I become interested in whaling? Because back to this one-room schoolhouse I went to in Groton, Connecticut. Now, about me to that house across the street was the boarded-up home of an old whaling captain by the name of Spicer. He was dead, but in his yard he had the skeleton of about a 35-foot whale and he had it tied together with big posts and wires, strong enough so that as little kids we could walk around on the damn thing. So I became interested in whales. <laughs>